How to install fonts in Windows 10 is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, go and leave a like. And honestly guys, this is a great tutorial. I'm going over the full process of how you can go and check out new fonts and install them. Without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. And now let's go and continue with this tutorial. So the first thing I wanna show you is how you can go and see what fonts you currently have. To do that, I personally go and use just any um, tool or program which you can you know, see your fonts in. So if I put like something like hi, um, currently I'm using the Calibri font. If I highlight that and then press on the downwards arrow, I can then go and select any font. So I could type in a font like Impact, which is normally pre-installed. So if I go and just press enter, as you can see, it then goes and puts it to Impact and you can change the size to see what it looks like. But anyways, let's go and check out how to go and get some new fonts. So I'm gonna quit off this and click do not save. I'm gonna go and open up a browser. So I've now got this browser ready and let's go and get into this. So a great site I recommend where you can find free fonts is called Da Font. Literally D-A-F-O-N-T, just like so, Da Font, and it's thefont.com. So come to thefont.com and honestly, this site's really good because most of these fonts are free for personal use, which means you can use them in just your private um, private use, I guess, but you can't monetize them. Um, so as you can see, it says free for personal use. So go and find a font you quite like. The look of like home education looks quite cool. Um, and this is free. So what we're gonna do is go and click on it and it's gonna tell you a bit of information about it. So as you can see, uh, this is free for personal use only. Um, so uh, that's gonna work perfectly for us. And there are tons of options you can do with it. So what I'm gonna go and do is click download. And as you can see, it's gonna start a download down here. Now, this is a zip file, so you may need a program to open this. The program I personally use is called WinRAR, which is the program I personally use, but there are other programs which you can go and unzip files with. Come back to your downloads, and as you can see, what you wanna do is go and click on the WinRAR or the zip file, and then it's gonna show you what files are inside of the zip file, of course. So. Here we've got an open type font file. Now there are a few different types of font files. This is just one of them, um, but most of them are gonna work pretty easily. So now what you wanna do to go and open it is simply double click it. Double click it like so. As you can see, it actually shows you what the font looks like. Um, and the numbers are like, are like that just because sometimes they haven't been fully optimized or for other reasons. Um, but this looks really good to me. So then I'm gonna go and click install. And as you can see, it's now installing it and you may get a pop-up, like a Windows security pop-up saying um, you need to give permission. And if you do that, uh, if you get that, just click yes and then make sure you read through it. So yeah, I've now installed it actually. As you can see, the install button's gone and it literally takes a few seconds. So I'm now gonna exit off this and I can exit off this and I can exit off my Chrome as well. So now let's go open another WordPad and go and check this font out. So if I remember correctly, I think it was called like Home Education. So I'm gonna search in here for Home Education. It's already detected it. I'm gonna click uh, Enter and then go and make this a bit bigger. And as you can see, there we go. That's the font we just downloaded. We just downloaded it and it looks really, really cool actually. And there you go. Um, you can literally go and do this with any font on the font. And like I said before, just make sure you're using it with the relevant um, permissions you have. So this is for personal use only um, and I'll just use it for personal use. So this is the tutorial and make sure you go and like and subscribe and have a very awesome day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.